According to an OSHA report, Amazon workers are citing an inability to maintain social distancing guidelines, a lack of protective gear and hand sanitizer, and a lack of time to clean their hands. Workers are complaining that Amazon is still selling non-essential items, forcing them to risk their health and safety. Some employees who protested these conditions have been fired by Amazon. In New Jersey, an unidentified person gave information to the police that led to the discovery of 17 bodies in a four-person morgue at one of the largest nursing homes in the state. State Representative Josh Gottenheimer said he was contacted by an administrator at the nursing home who had requested more body bags. The facility owner said that there were 15 bodies in the holding room and that eight of them had died last Monday. First responders helped the nursing home transfer 13 of the bodies into refrigerator trucks yesterday. The 17 bodies found have now brought deaths associated with the center up to 68, 26 of those who have passed tested positive for COVID-19, two of them being staff members. 24 patients are now at home and are currently sick with COVID, as are 41 staff members. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yesterday, Governor Cuomo extended the shutdown of all non-essential businesses until May 15th. While the infection rate has decreased in New York, Cuomo wants the rate to be even lower before lifting the New York pause policy. Cuomo is trying to coordinate with other surrounding states in order to ease the transition back to normal life. Class of 1991, Alan Kleist, and 1993 grad, Andrea Meklovich, and their children made an appearance on Good Morning America with a 13-hour domino task. The family was able to score a foosball goal from upstairs all the way downstairs. One San Diego family spent 13 hours, you see they're building this incredible Rube Goldberg. They use books, dominoes, you can see there. Whoa. Boom, an exercise ball, you'll see it coming there, yeah. Uh huh. No. <laughs> uh, goes down the stairs. This is pretty amazing. Gets on a skateboard. Yep, there we go. And then just wait for the ending. Got some books there. Whoa! No. That is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> so the family completed the task saying, hey, we scored a foosball goal from upstairs. Amazing. And they definitely did that indeed. All right. Carolina Panthers running back Christian McCaffrey earned a contract extension that made him the highest paid running back ever. Jalen Green, the top high school basketball player, has decided to enter the G League instead of entering college next year. I'm Chris with sports.